All right, welcome back to Off the Clock. Time to get away. Our mountain area is enjoying a lot of snow this year with more on the way. It's a perfect time to talk about Big Bear. Travel journalist Justin Welter joining us always has great ideas for us. There are a lot of choices for skiers, for snowboarders. Tell us about some of your favorite spots. Yeah, so Big Bear this year obviously has record-breaking snow. It's actually open through the end of April, where usually it closes mid-March. So even though we're coming up on April, you can still go skiing and snowboarding in Big Bear for the whole month of April, which is amazing. Two mountains of Big Bear. I don't know if you guys have been there. There is Snow Summit and Big Bear Mountain. And both of those together have a combined over 400 acres of developed land. There is 60 trails, 20 lifts. Uh, here's me at some <laughs> Snow Summit last year with a friend of mine. She's snowboarding, I'm skiing. If you're a skier, I recommend going to Snow Summit. That is where most skiers tend to gravitate towards. And then Bear Mountain is where most snowboarders like to go. It, uh, both of them, you can get passes that you can go to both mountains in the same day. They have buses that take you from both locations. So it's super easy. Big Bear is also only about 100 miles from Los Angeles. So it's an easy two to three hour drive. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing growing up in the Midwest, I could never drive to a mountain to go skiing here in California, Southern California, we can easily go to Bear Mountain and Snow Summit. And I, I love going to Big Bear. I go there basically once once or twice a year. I love that. All right. Where would you recommend staying? Yeah. And and does if you just mentioned, okay, if you're bored, you go to Bear Mountain. If you ski, tend to go to – does it matter where you stay because it's no. centrally located? Yeah. So both – I recommend – I stayed in two different A-frame cabins when I was in Big Bear. The first nice. one was at uh, – here we go. There's one of the A-frames. It's by a, co a company called the Kind Cabineer. This one was actually in Big Bear City. It's a beautiful A-frame, one bedroom. Here's a take the, the bedroom upstairs under the A-frame. The architecture is beautiful. Big Bear City has so many different options for lodging that it's basically a five to 10 minute drive from the different mountains. The second location I went to was another A-frame by Kind Cabineer, another beautiful spot. We'll take a look inside. This one was actually in Sugarloaf, which is the town next to Big Bear. Mm -hmm. And even though it's right next door, it's only about a 10 to 15 minute drive to the different mountains. So even if you're staying in Sugarloaf, which is right next door, you can easily get to the mountains. Uh, super, super easy and accessible to get to all the mountains. I have a quick follow up. Okay. I am not a big Airbnb guy. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I'm just not. Uh, I've never heard of Say it again. Kind Cabineer. How would the, how would you con compare and contrast the two companies? Well, they're actually on Airbnb. Oh, okay. that's <laughs> funny. Okay. Which makes it super easy. They have a website, Kind Cabineer, that you can go to to check out the different properties they have. But they are on Airbnb. I do like Airbnb, and I think the best part is the reviews. You can really get a sense of what people are liking or not liking about different locations. So. It is Airbnb. I do find Big Bear to be somewhat tricky if you don't want to go the house rental route. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, are there, there are smaller little hotels there, there as well. There are, yeah. Yeah. But more it like is bed and breakfast. More yeah. like bed and breakfast. Yeah. Is it pricey? It depends on the time of year. If you're going peak season, the price is going to be a little bit higher. I think when I was there about uh, a couple weeks, two weeks ago, it was about 100 to $200 a night. So okay. not too bad. That sounds that's reasonable awesome. yeah. to me. Yeah. And the nice thing I like about Kind Cabineer and some of the others as well is you can put in your preferences. So if you're traveling with a dog, you mm -hmm. can, or if you want to be centrally located, or maybe you want more of a view or whatever. So it yeah. does. You can t tailor made the the type of experience that you want. It's Definitely. very easy. And I don't think I think most of those they're they're all it's kind of they're on Airbnb and they have their own regular yes. website. So you know it is to your point, Megan. It is sometimes a little tough. There's not like a a resort. I mean, you can go to Lake Arrowhead, but you're away from Big Bear. So yeah, it's right. like you know pick your poison yep. all right so some people may want to go to the snow maybe skiing snowboarding is not their thing but yep. uh, there's a lot of great things to do even in the winter time that just doesn't involve skiing and snowboarding yeah last year I, I went skiing this year I didn't go skiing and one of my favorite things to do which it was on the top of all the things to do in Big Bear list was the Big Bear Alpine Zoo I am not a zoo person, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the location of this one's perfect. Let though. me tell you though, this is one of two alpine zoos in the United States. It's actually at the highest oh. elevation in the United States. It's a rehabilitation center and a rescue place where they rescue and rehabilitate animals that have been injured by car accidents. They find animals, there's a snow leopard right there. They, these snow leopards are missing an eye. Oh. Um, so they find animals that need to be saved and rescued and about 50% of the animals that come in here actually are then released back into nature. There's a bald eagle. So they have a variety of different animals. Uh, there's an owl right there. Foxes, coyotes, so many different beautiful animals that 
are not able to you know heal themselves on their own this is siren a coyote it looks like a dog but actually a coyote mm -hmm. a lot of the a lot of the animals they also uh basically some of them were found as pets which you are not allowed to have a coyote or a fox as a pet so they do a really good job um basically saving these animals and then either releasing them back into the wild or giving them a permanent home oh, that's it, is this the one unless there's more than one is this the one that's literally right across the street from the main parking lot or am i thinking it of is it? okay it so is. that's why it's conveniently parking located. lot of what uh, i'm sorry good question uh bear mountain okay so i mean you're kind of right in the hub uh, of everything yeah and it's it's beautiful and another idea if you don't want to ski snowboard looking for something else to do you can make chocolate go to a chocolate class well like yeah this. so the, yeah. there's a, a company called ardent oso it's by a chocolatier who came from san francisco he now lives in the sugarloaf area and he comes into your home he does a whole setup where he basically sets up a chocolate making table and he does a lot of education in the process. Here's me dumping in some cocoa grinds uh, into the, the machine where it's grinding it up and turning it into a smooth chocolate. I then added cocoa butter and sugar. And I had never made chocolate before in my entire life. So it was fun to, to finally make chocolate. And I love that he can bring it into your house. And he also does birthday parties or weddings or uh, tables at different events. And I actually brought in the chocolate. Oh, I knew I knew you'd gosh. want to try it, of so uh, take a take a take a I'll chunk take a off. Bite of that. If anyone else wants oh, to take sure. a chunk, oh yeah, Thank keep you. passing that bad boy around. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's that. actually next level. What do you think? That's great. You made this. Huh? Yes, mm -hmm. this right. is a chocolate Thank I you. made in Big Bear with Ooh, Ardent Oso. It's really Super good. fun. And a, a fun thing to do. A I fun, love it. It's a, a fun great thing idea. To do. This would be great if you're going up there and you're. It's more about skiing and snowboarding. Maybe you're going to get have a family gathering yeah. or a party. I mean, people do that now. They'll bring 100%. a group of people and they'll do a ski day or, or a birthday. That would be great. Yeah, agreed. Finally, perfect place to enjoy an adult beverage. What can you tell us about Big Bear Mountain Brewery? I love it. Any any small town brewery where you can get a flight of beer, enjoy local brews. Uh, they have over 10 different local brews here at Big Bear uh, Mountain Brewery. And it is a kitschy place when you get inside. It's kind of a small local vibe. When we were in there, it was not crowded. It was a bunch of locals sitting at the bar. They also offer live music as a venue. And and I love getting flights of beers. That is my favorite thing to do when exploring a new city. So I highly recommend checking out Big Bear Mountain Brewery. Here he is pouring a little a little flight for me. And it that's was, a dark it was fun. one. That's your that's your go to right there. <laughs> Believe it. Yep. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. I, yeah. Such great ideas always. Thank you so much, Thank Justin. You, yeah. you can follow Justin Travels by visiting his website, justinwalter.com, or on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, ATW Justin. Great info, man. Yeah, yeah always.